In my description, there's the hard test harness. This is because I'm a test consultant and I was a Scrum Master, I was a product owner. I was an agile coach for a short time, but I'm like representative of this more technical part of the delivery. And I want to speak with you about why it requires three persons to understand, define, and deliver a user story. How many of you are familiar with like uh, Free Amigos meetings or Triangle meetings and stuff like this? Not so many. That's, but that will be my main focus. So why is it important? Why we should focus about it? So uh, from my personal perspective, the product, the feature, the user story, and epic of set of stories, they need a common alignment, like the business objective, the technology, the quality assurance, the user acceptance, they should be aligned. There should be a space for doing like a common view on a user story. A space where product owner can say what they want to achieve, the developer wants to say what new technology framework they want to use, and there's a testers who will say how is it testable, what sort of requirements will be additionally needed to fulfill the requirements. So the common goal will be defined based on prerequisites, the acceptance criteria, the delivery constraint, and the business benefits. And if there is a common goal and everybody are like uh, aligned and everybody are committed to deliver it, it's all possible. Like you can see on this picture, there's like a Jamaica bobsleigh team. They were committed to be at the Olympics and they made it. Uh, so, and there's like a team of, uh, they were in a team of five, if I remember correctly. So every pencil in, a, in that team has a different speciality and they work together to achieve that common goal. And this is something that it's needed. Like there's often a situation when developers are working aside in a different room, then suddenly they drop a package to testers and testers has no idea how to test it. And then when go back to the developers, the developers say, we are agile, there's no documentation, there's no specification, you just do your exploratory stuff. Just grab it, play with it, and we'll see what you find. And then suddenly it goes up to the product owner and then the product owner is also doing the exploratory stuff and then he finds five additional bugs and then he goes back to the testers and say there's a lot of bugs how you were testing it and they said we are doing an agile exploratory testing so then the QAs go back to the developers and they said in addition to the bugs that we found the product owner found five additional ones and then the whole redesign happens from the beginning and then the package is just being moved around the uh, fans instead of being just delivered. So in uh, my previous company, we called it Free Amigos. In my current company, we call it uh, Triangle Meeting. So we are doing a meeting in which the tester, developer, and the product owner, or a BA, it depends on how the roles are divided and who is assigned to a particular team, they meet together and they try to divine, define that user story in details. Um, as much as possible. So we do it on a different levels. I will show it later. So we have a level on the on a feature level, an epic level, and a story level. And we use different techniques that will be also shown later. And the Scrum Master. So at the beginning when we introduced that, the Scrum Master was mandatory at those meetings just to push the team to do them and make sure they are doing it frequently. But in the later time, the Scrum Master was not always um, interested in the stuff that was described over there because there's a lot of technological stuff and they, there is not any data about the process, how we will deliver it. It's just writing down the acceptance criteria, like tens of them. And then there's the whole Jira template with the checklist and there's like, I don't know, 25 or 50 questions that needs to be answered. So how we did it. So from the beginning, you see like a common theme is that there is a discussion that it's needed. There's um, conversations has to happen. So this is an additional meeting, but our idea was that it should be a short meeting, like 15 minutes, maybe half an hour at most, if it's very, very complicated story. So not the meetings like this, like everybody's like spending the whole day 
and have no idea what to do next. So let me start with a few other examples. So when we are doing it on a product level, when we are starting a new project or where we are extending our product, we either try to do it with the specification by example. So we make like a one hour workshop and we try to specify each of the features uh, based on the um, examples, how they will work, how they will be defined. And if it re is required, the optional way to do that is the event storming. How many of you are familiar with the event storming? Good, good. That's really good. So it's a really uh, fun way to define like a whole product, but it takes a lot more time than this 15 up to half an hour meeting. Usually it's two or three hours. But this is like an example how to build like a framework of the whole product or the whole solution, divided to epics, maybe divided to the user story, not so um, detailed described, but still like grabbing like the first definition of them. And then you can go to the epic level. So at the epic level, we use impact mapping. So this is how we define features or epics before we finish them as a single user stories. So we try to build like a whole image of what will be the, the impact. So why we are building, does it work? Yes. So we are building the why uh, to define uh, the goal. Usually this is the product owner. He's providing us with the, or the business analytics. Uh, they're providing us with the goal why we are even considering that feature and what should be the, the objective that we want to get. Then we define the actors who make an impact on the outcome. So they're involved in the, um, the usage of the feature. And then we define the how, like how the impact of that ac actor is, is impacting, how the behavior is, is, is um, how different behavior they can do. And the last part is the deliverables, like what are the outcomes of the process. So this helps us to define the whole feature, the whole epic in Jira, for example, or any other tool that you use for backlog. Um, and then uh, describe it in details. So we go to the user story. So on the level of the user story, uh, we use Jira templates, so we have our backlogs in Jira, so every team has their own template of definition of done. So this is like an example at the top uh, of a definition of done. So we, had, uh, we have a templates for definition of done, a templates for uh, different modules, what is expected to be delivered by the technology team that's not fully related with the acceptance criteria, but there are questions that need to be answered, how many environments will be used, uh, how many external teams are required, and other stuff. And then we also, when we describe or build the acceptance criteria, we use the example mapping. How many of you are familiar with this way of defining user stories? Not so many. So the example mapping is, is a way that you provide a user story with a yellow card, then you define a set of rules with the team, how this story is expected to behave, and then at the bottom you just provide an example to the rules, and this way you build the image of the whole story. And the team has ability, uh, with the product owner, has the ability to raise any questions. If there's like a consultancy with external team required or any not defined yet questions, so they provide them on the right, and then at the last step, either the product owner or scrum master or developer or whoever wants to do it, they just provide all the outcomes from this, um, from this uh, example mapping inside the user story. So we did it with the whiteboard uh, inside our office, but we also had remote teams. And we, to, to use, solve the the thing remotely. Uh, some of our developers, we built like a startup alike team up labs. So uh, they built a product which is literally like a board to do the example mapping with included videos of people that are involved. It's totally open source, it's totally free to use. Uh, we, we use it internally. 
Uh, we know that there are several other organizations which are using it and we are really happy about it. So it's not only us that are trying to do the example mapping. But this is the way how we try to define the stories. And at the end, we've got, we've got the definition of done. We've got the specification by example or example mapping. Uh, and then this builds like a common image between the product owner, the tester, and developer. So when developers are starting to implement the feature, um, and then we move to uh, testing, and then product owner is having a demo, everybody is expecting the same results at all stages that we are doing this. So when we started to work on this, at the beginning we started with having the WIP limit set to one. Thanks. So it was very similar to what Al said, that everybody should work on a one single item. And then we are building up the, the WIP limit to head bigger, bigger, but to mi minimize uh, the amount of differences from the interpretation of the sentences that we wrote in Jira, we just used all of those uh, below examples. And at the end, the easy practice that we did, so how to make sure that the team has the space to run those meetings if they are 15 minutes or half an hour, so we made every team, we asked every team to have a slot booked in their calendar each day for a 15 minutes free Amigos. And they can decide if they use the free Amigos on the user story level or an epic level or a feature level. And every day during the daily scrum, we just, at the end of the whole meeting, we just ask a question, are we doing a free Amigos today? If yes, then everybody has everything booked. We've got the room, we've got the people. If we say no, then just Scrum Master or a product owner just canceling today free Amigos slot. But this allows us to have like this 15, 20 minutes space that nobody is trying to book it with another meeting. So the product owner is available. We don't have to reschedule the free Amigos like three days in advance or anything like this. We just got it available all the time. And we just decide every day at the morning meeting if it will happen or if we just cancel it because there is no items in the backlog that require additional attention. So the benefit that we got from it uh, in few companies that I work with, we've got the common goal for the people involved in delivering a story. We've got the documented vision. We use Jira for that. Maybe it's not the best tool, but it's the easiest tool. Uh, and the clear defined outcomes on the all levels from the epic user story level, there are all defined outcomes that are expected by the business, by the technology team, by the QAs, and everything is together. Thank you very much. <laughs>